destroyed. Destroyed, no problem. We destroyed the breach and everything. All right, guys, what is going on, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be shooting the E100 through a user-made mission. Now, it's already in the game files, and what pretty much has to happen is that we have to just, War Thunder has to be like, all right, here's the autumn thing that you're gonna to need to do to get the E100. I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen during, sorry, there's an ant on my microphone. It got really OCD right there, or ADD. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the E100 is gonna come out like during Thanksgiving. I guarantee you that, because I remember back in the dev blog about it that it said it was an autumn thing. In December, is December still autumn? I feel like December is more winter timey than autumn. So with that said, Mark my words, mark your calendar, clear Thanksgiving, don't hang out with your family, don't do it. You gotta play War Thunder, you gotta unlock the E100 because it's only a tank that's gonna be here once. Probably not, but at least for this year, I'm pretty sure. Okay, without further ado, um, we have a user-made mission and we have a lot of things to test it out with. We have M103, M10, Leopard, Panther, Panzer Veffa. Uh, let's take out a tiger, let's, let's take out a tiger and let's shoot our big brother. Now the difference between the E100 and then the mouse is it goes a lot faster. It has less armor and the same gun, but it has curves. And can we see any of them right now? Ooh, yeah, I can't see a little one. <laughs> okay, you know, I'll, I'll stop doing it. Okay, wow, look at those curves, baby. Look at them curves, look at them curves. Here, I'll actually show one really close to you because it's like the first time at least I'm seeing one in game, other than just testing out this mission before. Fake. Look at her. She is gorgeous. Look at that mouse turret on her. Look at them curves, girl. Shit. Oh, damn. damn. Oh, look at your bolts. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what I'm on today. One fucking... What an amazing freaking looking tank. Now, word on the street, or word in, you know, in the history books, and on Wikipedia, that I always used to do my homework, there was, I don't think one was ever fully built, but the chassis was. And the reason why it's in War Thunder is because the chassis was built, but the, and the mouse turret was already built. So pretty much all I had to do was assemble it at the time, you know, Berlin was being fucked with, so they didn't have enough time and all this stuff. And it does have, a, it looks like it has, it has a 75 millimeter uh, pack or a, um, a coaxial 75 millimeter and a 128 millimeter main gun. Now we were supposed to get, hey, can I shoot this down? Sorry, sorry guys, give me a second. Damn it. Um, we were supposed to get, no, we, we weren't were supposed to get it, but I think it would be, okay, l let me rephrase. I saw a Russian screenshot. I love how I'm just like talking with these fucking guys here. They're like, yeah, man, it's cool, bro. It's cool. We still like your uh, your boxy looking tank while we got our curves. Uh, but there was a Russian screenshot, uh, I believe, of a test bed for the 15 millimeter gun in War Thunder. And its penetration values were literally through the fucking roof. APCR was at 691 millimeters or something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that that was fake. That's why I feel like, because I feel like 691 millimeter penetration is like pushing into like modern depleted stuff, or maybe at the same time, modern depleted stuff. Maybe we can go through a thousand millimeters, this type of armor. But I saw it, I'll try to see if I can find a screenshot of it for this video. If I don't, I'm sorry. Um, but it was, I was like, man, 15 millimeter, or sorry, 15 centimeter gun, if I correct myself. And, it, and that 15 centimeter gun had that like, epic muzzle break on the end. I was hoping for it, but hey, man, you wanna die? Damn, dude. That must be the fucking shit if you can just sit here. I mean, seriously, just sit here, you know, granted you know, about armor de depletion or, you know, how it breaks up over time. You shoot the same spot over and over again, but you just feel so safe when a tiger's right by you. No problem at all. That's fucking awesome. I want one of these things. Now, is there an E100? Has anyone made an E100 yet? You know, I, you know, there is a mouse. There, there are tigers being remade. I'm surprised that the historical community haven't tried to make a. I mean, why haven't they made the rat yet? Like, come on, guys. 
uh, or the E100. No, seriously. I think, you know, if they come together, they could somehow fund all this freaking metal and do it. Here we go for a cheek shot. Oh my. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on, boys. We're going to go through the optics right here. God, that's fucking cool. There's like no place. I know we're using a Tiger one, all right? I'm just. It's, it just blows my mind that this much armor just like depletes a Tiger completely. Fucking awesome. All right, let's go back to the hangar. Um, we're gonna see if we could, we're, we're gonna take out a much more powerful tank. We're gonna try a Leopard out because that thing has like fucking 400 millimeters of penetration But those E100 curves. Hey, buddy oh, You're not as sexy as the E100. I'm sorry mouse. You're just it's just it's, it's not cut anymore, man You gotta adapt. Okay, a uh, user mission uh, Tigre Leopard. There we go. It's a leopard. All right guys. What do you want me to do? All right? Jeez. I'm going to start calling aluminum aluminium. Oh my gosh, I just died. Guys, we'll be back. All right, so my leopard didn't work, so I'm just going to use this fucking derp thing. Now, I'm pretty sure we can't kill him from the front by shooting this at him. I'm just going to test something out here. Hey, man, what's going on? Wow. Um, we could probably shot trap him here. And what I actually wanted to test out is shooting underneath them, kind of like this right here. Like, put it right in there. Boom! Get the underbelly. Don't know how much underbelly this tank has, but it's not more than, like, maybe... Mm, like... 30 millimeters. Hello, guys! Hi, hi, how's it going? Oh, what are you seeing in there, bro? What, what are you looking at, man? Alright, hang on, we're almost reloaded. Here we go, time for a shot trap. I mean, that's with any tank, but that's just fucking devastating. Alright, on the next reload, we're going to try for a high explosive underneath the tank. It's really nice how these guys are just letting me shoot them. It's fantastic. Do we have a proper... Uh, I want to get a little bit higher, get a little more angle down. Nice. Oh, well, let's see how much de uh, depression we have with the KB-2. <laughs> yes, we only shoot high. <laughs> Right, that doesn't make any sense, but hey, it's okay. Here we go, shots up! Right, we want to hit it right underneath the tank, right here. Here we go, right for the ammo. <gasps> oh, that's sick, man! I want to get good at using that method, because a lot of people are like, yeah, dude, just, you know, shoot the AP, kill the crew, but at the same time, a lot of kills that you think you can't get can easily be achieved by doing that maneuver right there. I'm, I think next stream, I'm going to dedicate like two hours for me practicing this because, you know, when a, 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 a tiger's in front of you, well, okay, granted, this thing can probably go through the tiger with this with this AP shell, but I'm saying let's, what, what's a good example? If you're, if you're a Tiger 105 in a T-54, well, that's, jeez, I don't know when this thing would be useful. At the same time, a lot of, you shoot a tank and then they shoot you back during your reload. At the same time, you could just do this. If they're not going to shoot you instantly, and get the kill right like that. You know, easier, but harder to get into that proper position. Now, let's try to do it at an angle. I fucking love that stuff. Yeah, I'm giving the E100 a bad name already. Trust me, it's much harder to do in the game than in this little custom setup here. Oh, by the way, uh, this will be in the description below for you guys to download and check out yourself. Don't worry. I'm not the bitch. Now, let's try to do it at the tracks. Because, you know, pretty much, if a tank's in front of you, he's pretty much looking at you. So let's see, let's say we're on the side of it. What do we do with this? Ooh, the uh, German engineer, engineering right here is going to make it difficult. See a little opening right there. No, I, no sauce. What about an angle like this? I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work. We gotta. We got like 20 seconds to think about it, because right now we have the driver and that's about it, and maybe some ammunition. But like what we what we're trying to get is we're trying to make the fuel explode underneath the tank, and that just decimates it. All right, let's try it again. 
It's a freaking huge shell here, though. Is that, is that 152 millimeters 6 inch or 5 inch? I think it's... 5? 6? I think it's 6? No, 5. I don't know. Anymore. Fire one! Nope, no sauce at all. Alright, we're going back to the hangar, and we're going to see if we can take out a... A tank to deal with it frontally. Alright, so I just got a tank that I can use, the T-34-100, not pay to win at all. I'm actually gonna be making a video about how there is pay to win in War Thunder. There's a little bit every now and then. Literally the easiest tank to play in the game. Now, I haven't really looked at the penetration values, but let's see if this will go through. Oh my fucking god. E-100, man, I'm sorry. You ain't gonna last too long in this game. I mean, sure, you can angle that cheek armor, but there's always a way, like this. I don't know if it'll work. Oh my gosh, you're you're literally not going to survive at all with this ammunition. Here we go, we're going to put on a very highly explosive AP round. I am so sorry, that just sucks. It's a 100mm gun by the way, this thing's devastating. Shot trapping all day. Bye bye. Oh, Jesus man. And the thing is, the E100 has like the best mantlet for it. Check that mantlet out. It literally just... If you hit it right below the gun, no matter what, maybe there might be some RNG involved, it will go right down in. Look at that. Just right below the gun. Look at it. It literally just shapes it there for you. I don't know if this will do it, but like right here. There goes their fucking drivers. Yeah, but I mean, right now, this wouldn't, you know, he can still shoot the gun. So maybe you'll do this after you shoot the cheek, per se. Check this out. Ammunition? Ammunition's probably right here. Oh my gosh, we did not mean to do that. Oh yeah, holy crap, that's, there's so much curve right there? <laughs> oh shit, my bad. We'll shoot right here. Right, right here. Yep, you, you, he ain't shooting that gun. And then we'll, then we'll go for one of these maneuvers again right here and probably destroy the tank. It doesn't, it, it, it bounces, but it goes right down into the tank. Oh, okay, that one worked. Thank gosh, I was about to say, if every one of these shot trap perfectly, something's wrong with this model already. Oh, disclaimer. Uh, this is, I don't know about this model. I don't know if it's a, a, like an official model, like with damage model and all that thing in it yet. So it could perform differently in the open game. Okay, destroyed. All right, now let's try for some side shots. I know you're curvy, girl, but man, you ain't going to last. This should bounce though, right here, right? Nice. So, I mean, like, the thing is, if you angle this tank properly, it's very hard to penetrate you. At least with AP rounds. Now, I don't know about Sabo and Fin Stabilized Heat, because that's just bullshit anyways. Those tanks would be at their own tier. Right above the side armor. Oh, this is the probably the less curvy spot right here. Hit! No pen! Alright, now this is a... Sh if you angle your turret armor properly, this is what the enemy's gonna have to deal with. Let's try for a new uh, cheek shot right here. No penetration. Really, you cannot penetrate that from an angle at all. Now, what about a stingy trap shot right here? This is a very hard penetration to... to like, like, you won't die. You won't die at all. It's, it's really, it's literally impossible unless this trap shot can finish you off. That was fucking close. That is, that is a scary mantlet right there. I bet two out of one shots are gonna do that. Let's try it again. No, it, it won't go through. Okay. Not, not to say that a more high penetrating round wouldn't go through. It, it, it hits that flat portion of uh, at least the top of the tank pretty well. At the same time, I think it just loses so much power hitting this mantlet and going down at an angle. Huh. Might be safe. But still, just be careful of this mantlet. Honestly, I feel like it'd be better if you completely turn... If you can turn your turret... So just imagine this guy turning his turret right here. Imagine if he turned it like... Hang on. This way. Right here in front of me. This is seriously better than that, in my opinion. 
You can't do anything. Too much slope and too much slant on this. And there's really no place to shoot you anymore. Unless he has a more powerful round, which this tank does not. This is a, this is a 6.7 battle rating BR. Oops, shit, just fucking choked. Actually, you know, I wouldn't suggest that because at this E100's tier, rounds are gonna go through that. Fin stabilize heat. I know, I mean, like, at, at high tiers, it, it's like playing on a gun carriage. That's, that's all you are. Like, armor doesn't even matter at that tier. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Let's put one in the rear of him. If only they made the armor on the cheek like 300 millimeters, fuck, that tank would, this tank would be great. Why is he on fire? It didn't hit any fuel tanks. Engines don't catch on fire like that when they're hit, right? I don't know. Maybe they do. No, he's really fucked. I feel like the engine would absorb a lot of the shrapnel, especially this number. Alright, we're gonna go for a fuel tank. Radiator? Huh. Oh, the fuel's right by the engine. Oh, okay. I, th I thought it was in the tanks on the left and the right. Hit right here for another fire. I mean, right at this, right at the muffler. Perfect. Stopped everything. No way. It's angled, you know. Holy shit. Another one through the door. Up. Yeah, there you go. Damn. This thing can absorb a lot of high explosive fragmentation from the rear. Alright, shoot it down the center again. Isn't it crazy? Look how easy this gun is to aim without even a sable around in it. It's just a just ridiculous gun. All right, should be on fire now, right? Yep, he's on fire. I think the fuel tank's right by that engine. All right, anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration of shooting the E100. Um, 100. The link to download this uh, user-made mission will be in the description below. Guys, have a great day. And let's try one more thing. Oh, e e easy, easy, none of that. I wish they had a better sound effect for that. Like a whining. Like, because it's... I saw a video online about it. Alright. Just stay here, sir. We're, we're, I, we're not tall enough. Oh. It makes sense a little bit. Because I have a 100mm gun. And he has a 128mm gun. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. That is a fuck. That's fucking awesome. If you have a smaller caliber gun than this gun, shoot it through the frickin' barrel. Destroyed. Destroyed. No problem. We destroyed the breach and everything. Guys, have a great day. Peace out.